The last seven or eight years have been a tremendously exciting time for us in the College of Engineering. For instance, our undergraduate uh, enrollment has grown from 1,600 students to about 3,600 students. Our freshman class has grown from 350 to about 1,200 students. And the really neat thing about it is we've grown in quantity, but we've also grown in quality as well. A lot of the things we're doing here are really interdisciplinary in nature, so we've got our kids out working with business kids on uh, developing business plans. We've got um, the opportunity for our kids to work with people in the creative arts, for instance. We just built a new $3 million foundry and I think a good third of that building we gave to the art department so that you have artists and engineers sitting there working together, working collaboratively on things. The foundry is a place where we come to melt, cast and pour metals. We have two here now, both the engineering foundry, metallurgical sciences and the art department sculpture foundry. The College of Arts and Sciences working with the College of Engineering is a really great um, collaboration. It provides a tremendous amount of opportunity and a broader set of experiences for our students on both ends. I really believe that to combining the foundry for engineering and arts and sciences really just creates more opportunities for our kids to work together. Uh, the more exposure to different perspectives and broader trains of thought, uh, the better our students are going to do. They're going to excel at problem solving in all kinds of different areas because they have exposure to different approaches and perspectives to solutions and potential collaborations and fields and areas to which they had never been exposed before. 3D Printing Lab is a facility that was set up by the College of Engineering and it's open to any student on campus. What we allow people to do is come over here with their ideas or possibly their drawings and we'll help those get, take those ideas and drawings and turn them into an actual part that they can take home and use for what they need to do. The technology can be used for a number of different things. It can start from something as simple as I broke a part and I need to reproduce that part to keep my uh, research going or it can be something as complex as a brand new design idea, something that no one's ever thought about, and you can think of the idea in the morning, draw it up and print it out, in the afternoon you can have the part in your hand and start using it. The collaborative nature of being able to work together with people from across campus is really opening the doors to our students. They can work with somebody from biology, from art, from engineering, all together in one facility, and taking an idea from a thought to a drawing to a part all in the same day really opens the door for students to be as creative and innovative as they possibly can be. This lab opens the doors for all those students to come and experience a brand new technology that they're going to see in the future and they're going to use in the future. So having it open for everyone is a perfect way of getting those new students and the best students in the door. I think the knowledge that you learn in a classroom setting or from a textbook is definitely very important, but it's not necessarily all the tools that you need to succeed in an engineering environment. What you can learn from research and take from that is not only the collaboration that you can learn how to work with a team and other people, but you can also learn how to apply what you've learned in the classroom to real world examples. The College of Engineering definitely realizes the impact of undergraduate research on the importance of that in respect to academic success of their students. And so I think what makes Alabama unique is not only the state-of-the-art institutions that they've built to hold all of the academic research in these buildings, but also the invested interest that the professors take in the success of their students, not only in the academic and research world, but also in the future. I think being able to learn how to solve a problem and cr think creatively is one of the aspects of research that is definitely needed, but also the ability to find a solution to a problem is something that you can take with you throughout your career and throughout your life. Robotics is a uh, competition held by NASA where universities around the world build and test a robotic lunar excavator. It has real world applications because uh, NASA is using these designs to see what works best in a real world mission. So they kind of crowdsource the ideas. Being on the team, you learn a lot of hands-on things that you don't get a chance to work with in the classroom. Building a robot is a very multidisciplinary project, so you, not only do you get to learn more about your own discipline, but how other disciplines work with you to accomplish a goal. Uh, winning last year was an incredible experience. It took a lot to get that accomplishment, and uh, we couldn't have done it without the College of Engineering. They provided us the workspace to work in, you know, the tools to get things done, and you know, financial support. Not to mention we have a great advisor, so uh, we couldn't have pulled it off without the college. I think uh, the number one thing for us to look at in the future in the College of Engineering is absolutely we want to make sure that we continue to nurture the young people who've entrusted us with their future by coming to study here. 